Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Fine. And you? Good, good. Always a good chance to relax, right? Was um, family time. Yes. In my case. Yes. 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 This is the idea to to spend the time with the family, right? Yes. And the clean and the house cleaning. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Because the the, the laboral days is difficult for the uh, hard cleaning and and the cloth, the laundry, laundry, and, but uh, yeah, uh, Saturday and Sunday was rainy. So the cloth don't dry. Uh, better to, but, but today is, it was rainy too. Yes, 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 it's true. And it's more difficult because then you have to be careful uh, how to organize the cleaning and the washing and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, if I, I'm lucky that in my case, we have a, a woman who comes to help uh, one, one day a week. And she comes on okay. days and she helps to clean the bathrooms, clean the refrigerator, uh, the, you know, the things around the house. Because what you say is true, Javier, is if you are working, in my case, my wife and I, the two of us work. So in, we, work, we work a lot. My wife has two jobs and I have three jobs. So we, we don't have the time. And, and really, to be honest, we don't have the energy to want to clean. So yes, my logic with my wife is we work, so is we work, so it's not necessary to clean. We have someone else clean because that, that's why that's why we work. We work to relax. No, no, we don't want Saturday and Sunday. Ah, more work. And, no, no, no. You you need to relax sometimes. Yes, when I uh, when I finish this class, I. I want to. Uh, I want to do um, so much, but I uh, sleep. The time tired. I I want to sleep. Um, I think the um, what uh, what eat tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there cook, cooked everything for tomorrow and and so. Uh, but every day is a good day. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. We try, every, we try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is all we can do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Rafael, how are you? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. It was nice. Homework. Homework. <laughs> yes. From the platform, Rafa. What? From the platform or other homework? Yeah, from the from the platform. Okay, but you finish unit one, unit two. The two ones. Excellent! Excellent! <laughs> One and two complete. Good job. I promise you. Hey, hey, hey. Excellent. That's good. That's good. And you, Armando, how are you? Hi. My weekend was good. I went to the to my job on Saturday morning, and then I went to the beach. And in, on Sunday, I stay home. I stay home. Uh, washing and cleaning and all the stuff. Okay. 
Yeah, like we talked with Javier, is really you only have the weekend to to do all the things in the house, but it's difficult because you have to find a balance between uh, relaxing, and, you know, and and doing the chores in the house, the responsibilities also. Yes, yeah, so I try to take my relaxing time. I I can say it's Friday and Saturday maybe, and Sunday it's family time. I can say. Okay, okay. And what beach did you go to? Costa del Sol. Ah, nice. I went to the Costa del Sol, yes. Okay. It, we, that was a good time, all day, on Saturday? No, just in afternoon. Okay. Because in the morning, I, I went to, to, my, to the company. Ah. You had to work in the morning? Yes. Okay. Okay, but in Costa del Sol is is close to your house. No, it's not. Maybe one hour and ten minutes. Oh, it's a little far. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, but to relax, it doesn't matter, right? I think so. <laughs> yes, if you if you travel one hour for work in traffic, then one hour to relax is okay. It's okay, it's perfect. <laughs> I think so, I think yes. I think this is the idea that you need to know the balance between the two things. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear, we have a lot of people now, we have more people in the class. It's good to see that everybody is here. Before we begin today's activities, did anybody have difficulty with unit one or two, completing unit one or two? No, teacher, me no. No, Elsa, no? No. Okay. I complete. I already did. Okay, okay. No Hi, questions. I complete too. Excellent, excellent. And no questions, no, no exercise. Sometimes there are technical issues. For example, ah, oh, I, I don't see the, uh, the video or, or something. No, it's okay? No, all is okay for me. Okay, great. Then we begin and we continue with our activities for today. Today, we're going to be looking and learning vocabulary, specifically vocabulary for celebrations, okay? So what for you, what do you celebrate? What do you imagine when you hear, ah, it's going to be a celebration? My birthday. Christmas. Hey, birthday, Party. Christmas. Anna? Labor Day. Party. La Labor Day, happiness, Christ independence, Christmas. Independence, Day. Christmas, independence, Mother's Val Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Day. Okay. Day. Yeah, Henry. Okay. So now that we have those days, what activities, what food, what things do you do on those days? Hang out with friends, with parents. Okay, hang out with friends and parents. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach. Ah, very nice, very typical in El Salvador because we are lucky. The beach is very close. The law family meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, here we're going to watch a small video about celebration and about vocabulary that we can use when we're talking about celebrations. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Okay, first, do you know what all of these words are? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, good. So now let's practice the pronunciation. Okay. Anniversary. 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 Okay. Cake. 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 Cards. 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 Dancing. 
Fireworks. Flowers. Flowers. Fruit punch. Parade. Parade. Party. Presents. Presents. Roast turkey. Roast turkey. And wedding. 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 Very good. good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay. Now, from here, flowers, fruit punch. The the tip that I have is remember to pronounce strong the final sounds. The final Four. sounds need to be pronounced well. For example, there's no card, card, right? Card. Here, no no firework. Fireworks. 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 Yes. Fireworks. Those final sounds are important. It's important to make sure that we use them. Okay. So we're going to go take a look. Okay. And we're going to try to use all of these ideas in relative clauses. Now, what are relative clauses? Well, we're going to learn in this moment what are relative clauses of time and how we use it. Hello. Before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. So what is a relative pronoun? One more time, the video, it's okay. Let's, we're going to learn what it is and why we use it. Two things, what it is and why we use it. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we- So what is a relative clause? When. when. Yes, today we're going to be looking at the relative clause when. When is for time, okay? This is to give an example or to explain specifically what you are talking about. So, as an example, here, I'll put in the chat, okay? I like it. But you don't know what I am talking about, right? It's not clear what I am talking about. So I have to be specific. In the case of time, I like it when my family goes to the beach. A relative clause of time because my family goes to the beach is not a complete sentence. I like it complete, but it's not logical. So you need to put together, I like it when and then the when is example, the times or the events that my family goes to the beach. That is the idea of the relative clause to help us understand. Okay. Okay. As an example, uh, the woman, uh, or the woman is my student. You don't know in a party, maybe 20, 30, 50 women. You don't know who is my student, okay? The woman with the Zoom background of the river and the bridge is my student. Ah, now it's specific. The woman with the Zoom background of the river and the bridge is my student. Ah, then it's easy because you look and you say, ah, this is Elsie. It's easy to identify. I, the man, okay? The man, what man? The man who is wearing a red shirt is very nice. The man who is wearing a red shirt is very nice. Which man? Armando. Exactly. Armando. This, is the idea. this is the function of the relative clause. The function is to help identify, to help make sure it's clear. I like it. I like what? Uh -huh. I love it. I hate it. You hate what? 
Ah, uh, for the time. I hate it when my mother tells me what to do. I like it when my family goes to the beach, okay? This is the idea for the derivative clause. It's okay. Uh, so, yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Where okay. is the relative clauses to? Where the- Yes, the place, uh, correct. The, the place. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. And how? Yes, all of those WH are the ideas. So okay. to see how we can make it, okay? So here we have a couple of things. First, we're gonna start with different events, different celebrations. So for example, New Year's Day is a day when, ah, we use, what do we do on New Year's Day? With our partners, we are going to complete exercise 3.4, sorry, 3.4 in the platform. So we are going to do 3.4 in the platform. It's okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Multiple choice, so it's not a long time. Only we read and we make the selection, okay? Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, exercise five, part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early. Hey, Rafa, what happened? Well, sorry, teacher, I have eaten the dishes. I'm arriving to my house and I'm using a uh, Oh, 4G single and not my Wi-Fi. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, Rafa. I put you to another group. Okay, thank you. Yep.
Okay, guys. You ready to check together? Yes, teacher. We are ready. Right. Let's try number one. New Year's Day is a day when? People have parties with family and friends. Okay, all right. What about April Fool's Day? What is April Fool's Day? Is when? Uh, People sometimes play tricks on friends. Okay, good. Yes. May and June are the months when? Uh, Many young adults choose to get married. Oh, okay. What about Valentine's Day? Is a day when? People express their love to someone. Okay, good, good. Labor Day is when? People in many countries honor workers. Okay. And February is the month when? Brazilian celebrate carnival. Uh, carnival. Okay. Let's check. Excellent job, excellent. Now you see we have two functions on how to use the relative clauses. Function number one is here that we can give the day, any day, and we can describe what happens on that day. We can describe it, okay? So Mother's Day is a day when, Christmas Day is a day when, El Dia de los Inocentes in El Salvador is a day when. Ah, that is the function. We can be specific about it, okay? And okay. second is your emotions, your feeling. I like it, I hate it, I love it, I enjoy it when, okay? And maybe Elsie says, ah, I like it when my husband gives me kisses. Ah, okay. This no, is I'm single. I, I, I single Elsie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe either, Rafa. Wow, I don't believe it. I know. <laughs> exactly. So this is the idea for the two functions. We can describe our emotions in situations, or we can use it to describe holidays or activities that happen. Okay. So in a, we are lucky that really in El Salvador, we have many celebrations similar to other countries. But for example, in the list, there is no El Dia de los Muertos. Ah, how do you explain El Dia de los Muertos to somebody from Canada or somebody from England? For them, it doesn't exist. So that is when we use when to explain. El Dia de los Muertos is a day when people go to the cemetery to celebrate their loved ones, to remember their family and friends, to, ah, this is how we use it. Is clear? Yes, yes. Clear. very clear. Got it. Okay, okay. Now with your partners, I want you to practice telling some days for you from other countries. For example, here the list we have some, but I want you to think of others as an example. In El Salvador, Black Friday in the United States, Thanksgiving Day in, uh, in Mexico, El Dia de los Muertos. And I want you to think of other days and use the vocabulary that we learn when, and then express the function, okay? This is okay. one. Or you can talk about you, about you. Ah, I love, I enjoy the days when I go to church or when I have nothing to do, or I like it the days when my friends and I have a party. Ah, it's your, your ideas is necessary to use the grammar tense when. Okay. It's okay? Yes. It's okay. Okay, good. Okay, teacher. Only four minutes for speaking. Two minutes and two minutes. It's not a long time. Only two minutes and two minutes with our partners.
Okay. Let's try and make sure that everybody understands. Okay. Armando, give me an example. Armando, I think you are mute. You are on mute. You are on mute, Armando. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I like Thursdays, the Thursday when I go to play football soccer. Ah, okay. No, all Thursday. You see, specific no. when I Thursday. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Henry, give me an example. Uh, I like Thursday when people paint her faces. Or they your faces. They your faces. I like what? I like Dead's Day. Oh. That's the day. The, the day of the dead. Day, day of the dead. Mm -hmm. uh, when people paint uh, their faces. Oh. Okay. Like, a, like a school. Like a school. Like a school. school. Okay. School. Good. Good, Henry. Thanks. Uh, Javier. I'm happy when my family meeting in the Christmas day because uh, we cooking the bread with turkey. So, so Javier, no ing, only the routines, only s. I like it when we meet on Christmas day when we cook because it's routine. Is oh, okay. So, uh, ing routines. no. Okay. No ing. No ing. When my family cook. The Remember, bread. family cooks. Family cooks. Cooks. Mm -hmm. cooks. Yes. Yes. Cooks the bread of turkey. Okay. Okay. Good. Maria, give me an example. I I like Christmas when the children open their their presents. Okay. Good. Good. Claudia, give me an example. Yes, I, I love when we go to the beach. Excellent. All right, Elsie. I enjoy um, Saturdays. Uh, um, because it's the day when I go to the swimming pool. Okay, but not because I enjoy oh. Saturdays when I go to the swimming pools. Oh, okay. If you don't go to the swimming pool, you don't enjoy. Oh, okay, perfect, thank yeah. you. Okay, good. Rafael. Beer. Halloween is the holiday when the people use customs. When the people use customs. Use customs, right. Okay, good, good. Brenda. Okay, I like it when my family stayed in my home and watched the movie with me. Okay, very nice, very nice. Carla. Carla Ivania. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead, Carla, give us the example. Excuse me, voy entrando, teacher. Ah, okay. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Siempre sucede, cabal, cuando llega tal, el profe llama, llama a ese estudiante. Okay, don't worry, Carla, don't worry, Carla. <laughs> Rosa, Rosa, give us an example. Yes, I love it when when I travel okay. because because mm -hmm. I visit my sister in the United States. Okay, that is okay because you use because after the explanation after the win and that is okay. Good. Okay, thank Good. you. Ana Pineda. Anna, you're on mute. I love, oh. I love weekends when I do projects in my house. Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. I think everybody understands, yes? It's clear? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember, it's the same for the other relative clauses. Today, only we practice one, but the classmate mentioned we have other relative clauses. Who, where, what is this? But the same function is the same function. Okay. Okay. Good. Now we're going to practice a little bit of our listening. Here we're going to listen to an uh, explanation of Carnaval. Do you know what is Carnaval? It's a party in Brazil. Ah, excellent. Okay. That's San Miguel too. Oh, in San Miguel. <laughs> in San Miguel too, in San Miguel too. That's right. That's what they have. So we are going to listen and we want to answer four questions. The question one, what is Carnaval? Two, how long does it last? Three, when is it? And four, what is the samba? Okay. So okay. listen and answer the four questions. Okay, maybe not. Hey, let me check. System issues. <laughs> yeah. I open in a new window, it's easier. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Well, Page 52, exercise so. five, part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, let's try together. What did you understand? What is Carnival? Sorry, party. It's a big party. It's okay. a big party. It's a it's big party. Right. Okay. Okay. Where? It's a big party where? Brazil. 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 And how long does it last? Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Okay. When? When is the party? February, February or early March. Okay. February or early March. Good. And what is the samba? A dance. A dance. A dance. A dance. A kind of a kind of music. The CD is, is a CD samba music. So is samba a dance or is samba music? It's a dance. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of music. Dance. Hmm? 
Is the boss. The boss. The boss. Okay, all right. Benson. Let's, yes. So here we have, when is, what is carnival? These are the correct things that you can put. Put into your platform is only correct in this form. It is a party, party or party or this. Carnival is a party. How long does it last? You said four days. So it's okay, four days. If you want to put only four days, it's one option that's correct. Remember, always put the period, because if not, it's going to be incorrect. You need to make sure the period, okay? When is it? You, you said it correctly. It's, it is on late February or early March, okay? On late February or early March. These are, you can have in contraction, you can have in the long form, like this one, or you can put, only with on, okay? And what is samba? The correct, the samba is a dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or only put a dance. These are, the, okay. these are the correct ways to write it into the system because you know, and I know that if you don't write exactly like the platform says, it's not correct. Okay. Did everybody write into the platform? Yes. Yes, you are finished. No, no, okay. no, no okay. teacher. Okay. Finish, finish. I am airport. No, yes, put, okay. it, put in the platform correctly. That way, we you have credit for doing the exercise. Did it, but it says wrong. Sorry, Anna. What is wrong? It is a party. Four days. It's wrong. Type of dance is wrong. Did you put a period? Yes. And the first letter, it can be capital. It's not capital. The first letter cannot be capital, Anna. Four days. Yes, I, I, in the first one, I wrote. It lasts it, for uh, four whole days. It lasts it for is, four days. It lasts. It is a big party in Brazil. It lasts. No, Anna. Anna, you cannot put city. You cannot put big you or in this way this is that's why i show you it's only correct in this form late anna did you correct no wait a minute uh, i press turn up bottom. february 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 no 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 february 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 february, february. Yes, February. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay now? Yes. Anna, did you put correctly? No, because I did a mistake. I, I pressed the on and off button instead of the delete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry, Anna. We when you do reload. And, and just restart and we help you. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Please teacher, uh, catch the screenshot and sharing on the WhatsApp. <laughs> ah, <laughs> because yeah, yeah. I try many, yes, I try yes, many yes. times, right? <laughs> you are right, it's a better idea, it's good. Please. Let me see one moment. Okay, one moment. Okay, I think it's... Maybe you can see. <laughs> yes, right? The four? Yes. Okay. Okay. Remember, you have to write it in that form. In, in well, in this form, because if not, the computer doesn't accept. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. All right, hang on. Let me raise this one. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to take a moment and we're going to discuss weddings. You and your partner are going to describe the customs for the weddings in El Salvador. What do you think are the weddings? So for this one, let me share the screen. Okay, here we have 3.7, the next activity. 
In this oh. session, we will listen and practice a conversation about wedding customs. Adverbial clauses of time will be introduced, okay? But we want to first hear, we want to discuss the wedding customs, right? Okay, our wedding customs. So for you, if you are not married, it's okay, but you have an idea, okay? Because for me, it's completely different, the wedding in El Salvador than the wedding in the US, than the wedding in Europe. My friend was married in Scotland and in Scotland is three days the celebration, the three days. Very expensive. And, and you sleep, you sleep there in, in the place. You are there and you have activity and activity and breakfast and lunch and activity, ah, a lot of things. Because for them, the wedding is not one event. The, the wedding is the families join together and the family join together is necessary, create activities, put families in one family. That's why it's necessary three days or five days, but they have for three days, but it's a lot. It's boring teacher. It's boring for the of, of, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of activities <laughs> because it's like a training almost like and a one training. or three months later they get divorced <laughs> <laughs> it's an expensive so, party expensive yeah, wedding yeah. 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 it's a big party a big party so now with your partner you have to think of many different types of things customs, habits the things that are normal in weddings, okay? So I, with, your, with our partners, we recreate.
Okay. Let's hear some of those incredible stories that you and your partners came up with. What are some of the traditions that we have or customs? The couple dance and a, spe uh, a special a song. Special song, yes. Yeah, uh, the couple dance a special song. Very good. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. The the um, bride mm -hmm. and use some blue, some borrow, and some old. The guy Are or the girl, <laughs> Elsie. No, the bride. The bride. That's right. The bride. Yes, the bride. The bride. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, the bride. Good, it's true. Uh huh. And no boyfriend, but you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Do you have pasando? I hear that. I hear that. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Me contaron. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. What else? What? There's something special about flowers, right? What happens to the flowers? Yes. Uh, maybe flower in the church. The color is white. But, mm -hmm. after, uh, but the flowers, they, they, they do something special with the flowers. Yes. Oh, the bride. The bride. Uh, ramo. Uh -huh. And what happens? The bride throws, throws. the flowers. Throws. And? Uh -huh. throws the flowers. And somebody <laughs> catches it. Uh huh. And what? Happens? What is the tradition of oh, someone it's catching? A, it's the it's, it's a next, uh, the next it's the next the person right? who is the next person, right? Suppose we'll be getting the next person. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. When I when I married in my mm -hmm. married by my party in the midnight, we celebrate the ca little carnival. With um, everybody drunk the sh tequila shots mm. and the uh, music of the combo group musical, the, the samba, music. Samba, samba music or tropical <laughs> music okay. uh, is um, different. Uh, 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 different song. light, different accessories. Teacher, yes. how do you say, tiro la casa por la ventana? Uh, yes. In English, there is an expression. It's different, but there is an expression, Elsie. I put in the in the, in the chat. Okay. okay. How do you in... say? Tiro la casa por la ventana. She threw the house. Everything but the kitchen sink. Alin That's correct. Everything. everything but the kitchen sink. Uh, the kitchen sink. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. the same the same idea it's for a, the expression. Okay. okay. It's a idiom. What Rosa? It's a idiom, teacher. It, it, it is. That's it's correct. Like, uh -huh. mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why, but in El Salvador, it's typical that the woman is pregnant. Uh, before, uh, before the wedding. Uh, I don't know. Not I don't know. Before the wedding. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tradition. No, uh, in my case, no. it's true. No, oh, it's not no, true. In my case, no. No, it's not true. Francisco, Francisco, Francisco confirmed that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I confirm. <laughs> Ask to Francisco. <laughs> but also in El Salvador, it is a custom to give the the groom gives the bride, I think the name is Haras. I think that's the correct name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. In, El Salvador. Yes. in El Salvador is is a custom. Is I don't yes. know other Latin American countries. I know that in El Salvador, yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And also for the dress, right, Maria? What color is the dress for the bride? What? What color is the dress? The dress? Mm -hmm. White. White is white. Yeah, it's the tradition, right? These uh -huh. are so in El Salvador, really for the wedding, we have a lot of traditions. A lot of things that you have to follow and you have to do. And is imagine a woman get married with a red dress. Mm -mm, it's not permitted. No. 
No. But sometimes it's, must, it's a must it's to a be must, like. black or, or gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very strange. So we, we are going to learn about this idea, okay? We're going to learn about wedding customs. Let's watch the video about wedding customs. Here we go. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions uh, like in Japan? Uh. There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did... Mm, we hear a lot of interesting things. What is she explaining? What happens at the wedding in a Japanese ceremony? There are two moments. The first moment is the celebrate on the sh of the shrine. Mm -hmm. And uh, only family and the close, uh, close friends. And the second moment is the big party with everybody. Excellent, excellent, good. And what happens in the ceremony? Mm, we didn't hear, huh? What happens in the ceremony? In songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. What happens? It's in the party, no, in the ceremony. Right? Sorry, in the song, it's in the party. After after the after the ceremony, they have the party, right? What happens at the reception? The guests uh, give money to the to the couple. Ah, yes, very good. The, the guests give money to the couple. And what do the couple do? Give the gift. And they presents. give presents. Or presents, right. Very good. They give presents to the guests. Now, let's listen to part two. Listen to part two. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious, what did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Mm. What did they give as gifts? What did they give as gifts? Sugar. 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 The symbol um, of the happiness. No jewelry. Jewelry, no. Sure. Sugar. 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 Yes, sugar. They give not sugar like uh, uh, like the caña. They give sweets, candies in a ceramic. Candies. Oh. They have little ceramic boxes with chocolates or candies inside the ceramic box. Mm, okay. As you can see, is it's time for us to finish the class, but I want to thank you for coming and beginning another week. I am glad that we are here together on Monday, and I hope that everybody is advancing in the platform and we continue tomorrow in 3.9. Today we finish 3.8, tomorrow okay. we continue 3.9.
Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, right. teacher. Thank Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.